Hello. You may be wondering why I'm standing next to this giant woody trunk. Well, this is what we call a tree. A lot of trees makes up a forest, which is what you can see all around of us. A tree is made up of the trunk, which is the structure that holds everything together, connects the top to the bottom. The trunk is very important as it's the main store of water and nutrients for the tree. How does it get these water and nutrients? Mainly through the roots, which we can't actually see, but they're underground spreading all over the forest floor. At the top, that branch out from the trunk, we call those branches. Branches are basically small trunks that extend outward from the tree and hold the leaves. This is a leaf. A leaf is what was attached to the branches all the way at the top of the tree. This has a yellow color because we are in the season of fall. And here in Vermont, fall is when the leaves tend to die. This is an example of a leaf that is full of life if it was still attached to the tree. This probably recently fell off, probably due to a windstorm, as it's not very red. Leaves are important because they absorb sunlight and water. These leaves gain the nutrients and allow the tree to grow much taller and much stronger. So, a pine tree is a tree which, instead of leaves, they have needles. And you can see the needles have some certain kinds of bunches to them. So some distinguishing characteristics of conifers are their leaf type. This leaf on the right, this one right here, is an eastern white pine. And we can tell that because the leaves are all very needle-like. This eastern hemlock, on the other hand, does have needles, but the needles don't branch out. And they are very flat, as you can see here. This is a pine cone. Pine cones grow on conifer trees. Pine cones hold seeds that spread to different areas of the forest and plant new trees. Underneath these little brackets hold the seeds and sometimes when it's the right condition these brackets open up and the seeds fall out. Pine cones come in all different shapes and sizes and can serve many different functions and have many hidden talents. We have a dying tree which sometimes they rot out and fall down. You can see that there's no top of the tree due to environmental conditions like windstorms, lightning storms, and other things like fires which cause the tree to fall down and die. This is a branch I'm holding. This is what grows off the trunk of the tree. You can see the branch has many parts, such as smaller twigs coming off. This is where you'll find the leaves growing off. Branches can go upward and out. So on this tree, there are several branches, some of which that start at this level, and as you go up, they keep growing up and out. And this is a great spot where birds like to build their nests and hang out. <laughs> 